Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle and DIY projects every single week. And I'm so happy that you guys clicked on this video because I think that it is an important topic to talk about and it's something that I'm very passionate about. And that is creativity and how to be more creative as well as finding inspiration to boost your creativity. So in this video, I wanna give you five of my best tips on things that you can do to become more creative. And when I was coming up with these tips, I really wanted them to be things that are actionable and not general tips like don't compare yourself or go for a walk or whatever even though those are definitely pieces of advice that are super helpful and super important to keep in mind when you're trying to cultivate your creativity I just thought that coming up with more actionable tips would be a lot more helpful for those of you guys who are stuck in a creative rut so without further ado let's get into the first tip so my first tip on boosting your creativity is joining a community and I think one of the best ways to do that is to create a second account dedicated to whatever craft you're working on so whether it's woodworking or if you're a baker or or a dancer make an Instagram account dedicated to that craft just so that you can follow other accounts that are within that same niche and that way you're constantly getting inspiration in your feed and that way you can share and document your own craft within your community and I think that is super helpful especially if you are looking to get some feedback or some critique or you just want to share with your community and be a part of that conversation I personally have a second account that's dedicated to calligraphy and artwork but I don't always post on it I'm mostly on there just looking at other people's stuff following hashtags and just gathering inspiration and that way when I'm ready to work on a project I can refer back to my save posts or the hashtags that I'm following and I'm feeling a lot more creative and a lot more inspired because of these people within my community and if you haven't already I would also highly recommend that you join a Facebook group on whatever creative endeavor that you're pursuing I personally have joined a bunch of bullet journaling groups just because I love to bullet journal and that way I can see what people's ideas are on a month-to-month -month basis and it's so nice just to immerse yourself within a world of whatever creative thing that is because people around you probably can't relate to it all the time so I find that being in a Facebook group and just connecting and engaging with those people really helps boost my creativity for my second tip I would say to join a challenge and you can find these on Instagram or Pinterest but basically what a challenge does is give you the list of ideas so that you're not spending time sitting down coming up with your own ideas you already have a list of topics or words or whatever it might be to already base whatever project that you're working on upon I hope that makes sense but for example if you're trying to learn calligraphy but you're getting stuck on what type of projects that you should be working on try going onto Instagram and looking up things like hashtag calligraphy challenge and that way you can see a whole bunch of different challenges that are going on whether that's based on the season or holidays or a specific theme there are just so many different challenges and this way you can see what other people have come up with in the challenge as well as put your own creative spin on whatever the challenge is so this is just a fun way to get even more involved within your community I'm gonna list a few challenges down below I know that there's some on Instagram Pinterest and even TikTok has a lot of art challenges so just going on there and finding inspiration is really awesome and I would highly recommend that you do a challenge and just test your creativity and have lots of fun with it. So my third tip to boost creativity is trying out a new medium and I think that this is especially helpful for those of you who get really comfortable within a certain medium. So let's say that you're just really comfortable with painting and you're kind of burning out and not getting as creative as you used to. I think one of the best ways to get over that is to do something completely different than what you're used to. So maybe you want to try using clay or macrame, paper mache. <laughs> Um, that's kind of a random idea but really I find that when I'm trying something new and different it really challenges me to think differently and to work with my hands and with my imagination a little bit differently than I usually would than if I were to work with pen and paper and also keep in mind that since it is something new or something that you're not used to try and get over the frustration of doing something new and just enjoy the process instead. I think it's really awesome that you can problem solve and just think about different ways that you can use this medium to transform it into a new piece of artwork. For my fourth tip, it is all about being resourceful and just using what you already have. I feel like a lot of times people think that they can't do certain things just because they don't have the right supplies or the right materials to execute. And I truly think that that is just a mindset that's gonna hold you back from 
wanting to create more. So if you always are thinking that you need to buy something or invest in something, I just don't think that is the case in getting creative. I think that some of the best projects that I have created have honestly come out of just looking at things that I already have and seeing how I could create something out of it. And one really great example I found on this is someone that I saw on Twitter who actually makes art with just the sun and a piece of wood. And that basically came about because she didn't have art supplies. All she really had at home was a piece of wood that her dad had and like a magnifying glass. So if you have seen videos of this, she's literally using a magnifying glass the sun's rays and a piece of wood to draw. And that is just one really great example of how you can be resourceful and still create art. I hope that that really inspires you because it honestly inspires me so much. And it also just is a good reminder that materials do not enhance the creator. And I think it just goes to show that you can create something really awesome if you just change your mindset and become more resourceful with the things you already have. And for my last and final tip, it is something that I struggle with a little bit still and that is just not forcing it if you're not feeling it. So if you're sitting down and not feeling inspired to work on the project, I would say to just take a step back away and do something else until your mind gets into the right mindset of creating something. So what I like to do is just go and listen to some music or make myself a cup of tea. And that way I can think more about it before I go back into it. Because I find that if I force myself to do it, then I just get more frustrated in the process. So instead of going through all of that, I'd rather just take a step back, relax a little, and then come back to it when my mind is in a better spot. And that way you're able to create something even better than what you had originally sat down to do. So I hope that this video was super helpful for you guys, especially for those of you who are beginners to DIYing or just any type of new craft. As someone who has a little bit more of an art background, I'm always hearing people say like, oh my God, you're so creative. I could never do that. Like I'm not as talented. Those kind of things always prompt me to remind them that they are creative in their own special way. I hope the tips in this video are really helpful to honestly anyone out there because because I truly believe that everyone can be creative. It is not just applying to artists who work on paper and canvas, but really does apply to all aspects of creativity. So whether you're a dancer or you work in ceramics or you're a woodworker or a rapper, like creativity just comes from so many different aspects and it really is all about using your imagination to come up with new ideas. So I hope that this video was super helpful to you. My main goal for this channel really is to inspire others to live more creatively. So I'm really hoping that this video was helpful for you guys. So I hope that I was able to give you guys some new ideas and a new perspective on how to live more creatively. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to help you out however I can. And as always, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'm posting on there every single day. That's it for today's video. I'm really excited for the next video because I'm finally going to redo this whole room. At least I think that's what's coming next. I could be wrong. Um, but if it's not the next one, it is coming. But either way, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.